Hey guys, I'm back with a Blu-ray and DVD update, uh, a brief one. Uh, I'm waiting with anticipation for the Black Friday releases. Vinegar Syndrome is going to have two horror films, limited edition releases for Black Friday or the weekend of Black Friday, so watch that website. But Severin Films has come out with their own little Black Friday release. And they've already kind of spilled the beans. It's a, um, it's 1959's Jack the Ripper. And this is a UK film that, um, I've never seen it before, but apparently, apparently, um, Jimmy Sangster did, did the script for it. And it's getting a limited edition release, limited to like 1,500 copies from Severin for Black Friday or the weekend of Black Friday. So... I'd encourage you guys to check that out as well. Uh, as far as uh, pickups, I want to show off a few things here. First up, I picked up the uh, release of Indicators release for Torture Garden. Of course, this is an Amicus film, and I don't. This is the one Amicus film that is not in the box set, so I went ahead and picked this up separate. Uh, looks like it's a loaded release. Let me see what we've got here. And it's a limited edition as well. You've got you've got two cuts of the film. An extended 100-minute version TV cut. You've got an interview with Freddie Francis. Interview with a production supervisor. Uh, a commentary on Robert Block. who The film was based on the novel by Robert Block. Uh, a little bit on uh, the Sabotskys. Kim Newman on Torture Garden, like 25 minutes. So, yeah, this is uh, limited to 3,000 copies. I'll go ahead and jump on that if you haven't already. Then I picked up another indicator, and that is Fragment of Fear, which I've never seen it. I don't know. It, it looks like a giallo, a gialli. This has, um, well, it's a high-def remaster an analysis, uh, a 14 minute look at the life and work of screenwriter Paul Den. Uh, a look at the director William Cartledge, 10 minutes. A frank and revealing insight into the film's production. This is limited to 3,000 copies and it also has a 36 page booklet. So yeah, that's Fragment of Fear. This is a double dip. Well, actually, no, it's not more. It's a triple dip. This is Just Before Dawn. This, Just Before Dawn is one of my favorite slasher films. And uh, this 88 release, I bought it mainly for the special features. It's got an audio commentary with Justin Kurzweil and Callum Waddle. Uh, it's got an extended cut of the film, the optional overseas version, which is 102 minutes. A new interview with director Jeff Lieberman. And then you've got a uh, documentary, Grindhouse All-Stars, which uh, I love anything Grindhouse. So that's, I think the special features were worth the uh, triple dip on this. But yeah, that's just before dawn. Another double triple dip is uh, House on Sorority Row. And again, this is another 88, 88 films release. This is Spine 18. No, it's not 18. That's the... That's the code on it. Let's see. This is number 27. And this is 31. This one's a little lighter on special features. But this is another one of my favorite slasher films. Um, it's got a high definition transfer from the inner negative. And interviews with composer Richard Band. I didn't know he did the... I didn't know Richard Band did the music on this. Interview with the film critic Kim Newman and then a Hysteria Lives podcast commentary. And then for the uh, the creme de la creme, Paul Nashie set volume two. I don't need to say any more. If you got the first Paul Nashie set, you got to have this. This has uh, the Hunchback of the Morgue, which let me see here. So this has Hunchback of the Morgue, which has an audio commentary about the Nashi cast. A dragonfly for each corpse. I've never seen, that's a Paul Nashi I've never seen. 
It's a 1973 film, and it has an audio commentary by Troy Howarth. The Devil's Possessed, which uh, is a great movie, but no special features other than a trailer. Exorcism. Uh, that's got an audio audio commentary with Troy Howarth. And then the and then the the one that I was wanting to get this for was the high definition transfer of the werewolf and the yeti, and unfortunately, werewolf and the yeti is one of those that didn't get didn't get any special features beyond a trailer. But anyway, this is a great looks like a great set. Uh, and if the fir if it's anything like the first set, it's a must own. Also picked up, and you, I don't know if you guys missed this or not, um, I think this is far superior to what Scream Factory released is for these films, but Willard and Ben box set. Now this set is also a limited edition, and it's got a 4K scan of the original camera negative. This has an audio commentary with the actor Bruce Davidson. Interview with the actor Bruce Davidson on Willard. And then on Ben, you've got a high def transfer, audio commentary with the actor Lee Montgomery, an interview with Lee Montgomery, trailers, etc. So, yeah, this is a, uh, a nice box set. And I'll I tell you, this, uh, it looks like it's got a. Let me look at this a second. It's got a. Um, Looks like it's got a, a booklet. Let's take a quick look here. Probably should have done this before I started the video, but let's take a look at this here. So we got it. Oh, it's a poster. I saw um, I saw Willard at the drive-in when I was a kid, and it's man when um, I hope everybody not it's not a spoil I hope it's not a spoil everybody should everybody needs to have seen Willard, you know when uh, Bruce Davidson says tear him up, you know that's just uh, that scene scared the shit out of me when I was a kid, but yeah that's uh, Willard and Ben box set. So there you go. Just a brief um, collection update. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.